Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen and Cocktails 101 where we're going through all of the background stuff that you need to get ready for your first or next cocktail party. And today we're going to make grenadine. Um, grenadine serves a bunch of different purposes in cocktails. First the color, uh, that nice bright red color that it brings. Sweetness because essentially it's just a uh, pomegranate flavored simple syrup. So that sweetness and just that hint of pomegranate flavor. Now I'm in Canada and you may have noticed in the past that all of our labels are in French and English. And in this case, the French side is exactly the same as the English side. And that's because the French for pomegranate is grenade. Um, so let's get into this. It is essentially a simple syrup. Um, one to one sugar and liquid. In this case, the liquid is pomegranate juice. And uh, you can juice the pomegranates yourself if you want, or you can cheat and get freshly squozen pomegranate juice, which is what I did. Um, it turned out that, uh, that buying squozen fresh juice was cheaper than buying the pomegranates. Next in is sugar. Um, and this is a simple syrup, so it's one to one. One part liquid, one part sugar. Uh, you should do this by weight, of course, uh, especially since I'm using a brown sugar or a demerara sugar. If you were using uh, white granulated sugar, you could do it by volume and it would, it would work out just fine. So in goes the sugar. Let's see if I can do it without splashing. Yes. Now I'm going to put this on a fairly low heat. You don't want to bring it to a boil. You just want to heat it gently until the sugar dissolves. Now I used uh, Demerara sugar uh, because I want to build sort of these deep earthy tones into my grenadine. Uh, I know that people are a little bit weird about sugar, so you can use whatever kind of sugar you want to use. But of course, white granulated works just perfectly in this as well. Now in order to build the flavor even farther, I'm going to use pomegranate molasses. Uh, about a quarter cup of pomegranate molasses. And yes, I'm measuring over the pot. Um, get a little bit extra. It's not that big of a deal. So in it goes. Okay. Mm. That is really powerful. That is so super flavorful. Okay. So just keep stirring this over a low, gentle heat until the sugar is fully dissolved. And once the sugar has completely dissolved, I'll pull it off the heat and let it come to pretty much room temperature. Okay, now that it's cooled, we can add the last two ingredients. Uh, the first one is orange blossom water. And you can leave this out if you don't want to buy it um, or you can't find it. It is sometimes difficult to find, although here in Toronto it's pretty much everywhere. And it's just a teaspoon. Now here's the deal why you might want to leave it out. I've had this bottle of orange blossom water for a very long time. I've cooked with it several times and I've only managed to use that much. Um, it's the kind of thing that's on the fridge door on the inside of the fridge door that every time you open the fridge, you look at it and you go, oh, there's that orange blossom water. What am I going to do with that stuff? I'm going to make grenadine syrup. Um, but of course, you're only going to use just a tiny little bit. So it's going to last forever. Now I'm going to mix that in. So here is, here's the deal with storing this grenadine syrup. Sugar itself is a preservative. Um, and so you put this in the fridge and it's going to last four to six weeks on its own. Um, you don't have to add anything to it. Just keep it in a sealed container. Four to six weeks, it's gonna be fine. But if you want to extend that life a little bit longer, maybe eight to 10 weeks, you can add a shot of vodka or neutral grain spirit alcohol. Um, and this should extend the life out probably eight to 10 weeks. Okay. Let's see if we can pour this into the bottle without spilling everywhere. Although I've already spilled. Now you notice our red color is much deeper than what you see with the roses grenadine. And part of that, of course, is that we're dealing with real pomegranate juice. Okay, so let's give it a taste test. Get a couple of spoons. 
And let's see, I'm gonna try ours first. So I like the color, even though it's more of a brownie red than this bright red. Pomegranate right off the top. Um, really nice pomegranate flavor. It's sweet, but the sweetness is kind of in the background. That pomegranate flavor cuts through at the top. You also really get a hit of that orange blossom water. Even though there's only a tiny little bit in there, it sort of jumps right to the top, right to the front. It's really nice. Um, that's gonna add a lot of flavors to cocktails. That's gonna be really good. Now the roses, this is the one that everybody sees. This is the one that everybody knows. It's in every supermarket. You go to a cocktail shop, this is the one that they're gonna sell. Um, I have seen Kraft Grenadines uh, and I have tasted Kraft Grenadines. And ours, uh, this one right here is with the best of the best of the Kraft ones that you can buy. So let's give this a try. Now the color is unnatural. It's a thinner syrup, definitely a thinner syrup. Um, right off the top, sweet. Number one thing is sweet, 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 sweet. A little bit of the orange blossom water. I can kind of taste that, although I didn't cleanse my palate. So there's probably people out there yelling, you didn't cleanse your palate. The pomegranate flavor, not really, not at the front. It's sweet first. And then there's a little bit of pomegranate flavor. I think the pomegranate molasses in this one really helps to deepen that flavor as well as using the brown sugar really deepened that flavor. Um, in a pinch, yeah, this is great. If this is what, uh, if you don't want to go to the trouble of making this in a pinch, this will work, definitely. But um, I got to tell you, the one that we just made is fantastic. You should really give it a try. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.